We go to overtime. We're at Stevens Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. Greg Grubel and Avery Walker. We're tied at two, BYU and Santa Clara. The Broncos score the first two, BYU the last two, getting us to this extra session or extra sessions, plural. We shall see. They play up to two 10-minute periods. Golden goal in effect. Next goal wins it for either side. BYU trying to uh, uh, get the... uh, the Bronco off the back, if you will, as they've never won here. 0-6-2 and two all time are the Cougars on the, on this field and uh, giving themselves as good of a shot as they could expect to have after going down 2-zip in the 34th. So you take overtime at that point, and there were stretches there in the second half where it felt like a third goal was imminent, did not come. We'll have to play some more to uh, get a decisive marker here if there is one to come here at Buckshaw Field, Stevens Stadium. Hey, what did you think about the uh, both adjustments Jenna Rockwood's team made throughout the course of the game and how it got BYU back a level? I love seeing a little bit of creativity from Jen Rockwood. I, you know, when I was playing, it was I didn't we didn't see as much of that, and I think she really trusts this group to get the job done wherever she places them. And my favorite adjustment, I think, of the the whole game was pulling at least like out of the central forward position over to the withdrawn forward, uh, you know, near sideline here, and she was able to really get the ball early and. And go out players from wide, which, you know, led to a few dangerous plays. BYU has not played an overtime y- game yet this year. And uh, Santa Clara has played one, losing at Duke 3-2 back in uh, late August. So we are headed for OT, BYU and Santa Clara. First game of the WCC season. As the other game that began the same time as ours was up the road uh, in Malibu, or down the road in Malibu, beg your pardon, at Pepperdine. Pepperdine 2, Portland 1 in the 85th minute there. The two early afternoon matches this being the second or first of two. BYU will head home and take on Pepperdine in their WCC home opener on Wednesday night. BYU is ending a stretch here of a five of six played away from home. BYU had a four-game road stretch, won all four, went home, played UC Irvine, won that one, back on the road here to play Santa Clara. So five out of six played away from home. BYU looking to make it a clean sweep, trying to find the overtime winner here in Santa Clara. BYU in the white jerseys, blue shorts. Santa Clara in the all maroons here today. Again, BYU on the itinerary has a late afternoon flight out of San Jose. The later this game goes, the more dicey that travel situation gets. But again, BYU will, will take running to a gate if it means getting three points out of, uh, out of Stevens Stadium. Yeah, I imagine the, the halftime spirits are high. They... You know, BYU really had a lot of the momentum, I think, in the second half. They were, you know, confident in their shots and played a little bit more aggressively, which I think was the reason they were able to score two goals. Um, but I think going forward, it's it's super important for BYU to take care of that ball. I've mentioned it a couple of times tonight, or excuse me, today. And uh, between the players, you know, going wide and getting kind of taken out for time and time again on the tight, tight sideline, just find the ball in the middle. Jamie Shepard, Mikhail Coolhan, they have space when they get the ball facing forward. So as we head to uh, overtime, stats update, BYU 13-6 to in shots, and BYU has outshot every opponent it has played this season. Shots on goal in BYU's favor, 7-4 to as well. So you want to get the full points. All the numbers say you should be the team leading. Right now you're the team tied. So 13-6 to shots, 7-4 to shots on goal. We've seen 17 fouls, 9 against Santa Clara, 8 against BYU, 9 corners, 5 for the Broncos, 4 for the Cougs. And BYU's seen the offside flag three times to Santa Clara's two. Long break here between end of regulation and the first overtime. The five-minute clock expired some time ago. And the players just barely now getting onto the pitch. So here we go. Will uh, Jen Rockwood make her first win in Santa Clara come in dramatic fashion? That would be the case. If BYU gets out of here with three points, it will come in a dramatic way. We are in overtime. BYU. Puts two holding mids back on the pitch, so the Cougs will stay in their 4-2-3-1, and they'll go back to S.J. Affleck having the highest spot and putting Elise Flake on that attacking left wing. That's where BYU did most of its offensive damage, I thought, in half number two in terms of buildup. Yeah, not to mention there's actually been an outside back change for Santa Clara. Uh, Emma Reeves is out, which you know could, could potentially mean there's some... There's either fresh legs or maybe a little bit of rust that needs to come off. Hopefully, uh, at least Flake can find a way to capitalize. BYU will stay going right to left as we see it and you hear it. At least Flake, by the way, the assist on the Cameron Tucker equalizer in the second half. We are underway. BYU with Rachel Lyman at the center line. Ahead, Coulihan. Back to Brockbank. Brockbank wide left to Gwyn. Gwyn in the neutral third. Has the ball in her possession. 
Rolls a lead ball to Jamie Shepard. Jamie Shepard at 35 yards quickly. Comes centrally. Shepard being harassed. Releases to Brockbank. Brockbank, SJ. SJ dispossessed. Loose ball. Lyman runs up to it. Keeps it in the final third and off a crazy spin. The ball will be taken to and over the byline for a Santa Clara goal kick. Good Love step. that aggressive play by Rachel Bingham there. Yeah, good step up by Lyman and ended up giving a ball a, a spin that took it right over the end line. Back line for Santa Clara. They led 2-0. We're in a 2-2 game in overtime. Santa Clara, miscommunication near touchline, resulting in a BYU throw. Josie Gwynn will take off the upper torso of Flake and blasted down the near touchline by the Broncos out for a BYU throw. We're in the second minute of overtime. First overtime session. Up to two 10-minute periods will be played. This game will go in the books as a draw should they play 20 scoreless minutes. Golden goal. Becomes the winner. Brock Bank down the barrel at 40 yards. Slows it. Speeds back up and is dispossessed. Gets it back, does Brock Bank. Lays off Shepard. Coolahan's layoff is soft, but yet still falls to Jamie. Jamie at 35 yards. Shepard playing toward the top of the D. Rolling it to her right. Trying to pick a toe poke on it and ultimately dispossessed. Big jersey pull there. Ref's got to call that one on, on Santa Clara. Jamie Shepard's jersey was, you know, stretched 12 inches. A 4v4 for Santa Clara. Getting a leg to it was Jefferson. Slowing the ball just enough so that Serracio can blast away. Knotted down by Coolahan in the neutral third. Being chased by Affleck is Jones. The release to Heggert. Heggert plays to the midfield to George. Michaela George Kennedy. Kennedy at the halfway line. Gives it away to BYU. Lyman quickly Coolahan. Coolahan in the center circle. Plays to Cam Tucker. Tucker. Teeing it up for herself. Lost it on her last touch. And the Broncos then play to the center circle to Jefferson. Jefferson has a defender trailing her. Releases quickly to Lyman. Lyman down the right flank for Tucker. Tucker's closed down on there by Hegert. Plays out. BYU throw. Far touch line. 93rd minute. Third minute of the first overtime. 2-2. BYU and Santa Clara. These two teams split. The preseason first place votes in the WCC. Co-favorites to win. Lyman in the final third. Two hopper to Brockbank. Got away from Ashton, but to Shepard. Shepard, Coolahan. Coolahan, they're back to goal at 30 yards. Backtracks and lays off Jefferson. Jefferson, a one-touch drive down the right wing. It got past Tucker and out. Cam just couldn't bring it down. The ball played not in a really usable area for Cam, unfortunately, and had to stretch too high to bring the ball down. Goes out for a Santa Clara throw, but she was wide open down that right wing. So defensive third throw for Santa Clara. Given right back to BYU off the first touch, and the Cougars give it right away to Santa Clara. Defensive half for the Broncos. They build from the back. 94th minute, fourth minute of the first overtime. 2-2. Turnbow. Back lines in the area. High pressure Affleck. Broncos deal well with it. Play to right back, Karen Gore. Gore, Doyle. Doyle at the halfway stripe, dispossessed by Flake. Flake, Gwynn. Gwynn's ball to Affleck is too soft. Santa Clara takes away and races into the attacking half. D'Aquila. Hedge trying to play Jones through. Not there. Picked off by BYU. Brockbank. Shepard. Toe pokes defensively back to Serracio and the Cougs have to play to keeper. Dicey stuff here for BYU. Davis. Plays to Jefferson at center back. Fifth minute of the first overtime. Alyssa Jefferson, oh, played centrally and right off of D'Aquila, back to Alyssa. Wow. Some balls here in overtime that BYU is lucky to keep possession of as Coolahan collects in the center circle. Three defenders around her. Tries to play Cam Tucker through, keeper out and collects. Ogren distributes George. George, neutral third, skips past Doyle to Gwynn. BYU's left back with room to run into the attacking half. Plays Flake. On the left wing. Challenged by two defenders. Gives it up, does Flake to Gwynn. Gwynn centrally, Brockbank, straight down the barrel. Ropes it to Shepard. Shepard loses control. Hegert collects, plays off of BYU for a Santa Clara throw at the far side. Halfway through the first overtime session, 2-2 we stay. Santa Clara throw in their defensive half of the pitch. Throw is volleyed in the air, off the head of Lyman, to the boot of Brockbank. Lead ball, Tucker. Tucker, right wing. Tucker comes laterally. Now Affleck on the right side. 
Getting into the edge of the penalty area. S.J. Affleck deep in the area off of the Broncos and over the goal line for a BYU corner kick brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union. Mountain America Credit Union guiding you forward. BYU with a corner in the 96th minute. Sixth minute of the first overtime. And Rachel Lyman will take. An expert crosser. She gets this corner. It'll be a right-footed out swinger. In the 96th, we are in overtime of a 2-2 match. Lyman drops the right arm. Right boot to ball. Bends to the top of the sixth. Defensive header by the Broncos to the boot of Gwynn. Gwynn at the edge of the 18. Will tee up Serracio. Well outside of frame. Serracio, Jefferson. Center backs keep it in the attacking half for BYU. They're 50 yards from goal of the Cougars. Gwynn now at 40 yards angle left. Josie comes to the top of the area. Plays to Coulihan. Coulihan, one touch. Lost it, but to Affleck. Affleck comes away with it. Setting it up to Brockbank. Brockbank wide right. Tucker. Tucker. 25 yards to 20. Outside of her boot to Lyman. Quick cross. Past Affleck to Coulihan. Coulihan, top of the 18, can't free herself for a shot. She backtracks again and goes all the way to center back to Serracio at 50 yards. Danica plays left. Flake. Flake putting it to her right. Tries to play Affleck through. The flag is up as Affleck goes down. And the keeper comes out to upend SJ. Offside for the fourth time today against BYU. Great build up there. Ultimately, the finishing touch lacking in the 97th. Really good build for BYU. I think it's important to remember all of those good things that happen, that happened there. You know, each player looking for their 1v1 opportunity, but then realizing it wasn't there and really finding the ball safely to their next player and, and allowing you know BYU to take care of what matters. Off the goal kick, a flick on by the Broncos, all the way to BYU's back line. Serracio Davis, Davis back to Danica. Danica plays Elise Flake down the left channel. Elise Flake working in front of her defender, gets into the 18. Flake and on goal, and the flag is up again. The flag is up. BYU fans incredulous here at Stevens Stadium. Man. How could the flag be up? She had a defender to beat. She she got around somebody. That's, she had a defender to beat. That's such a bad call. That's a terrible offside call. The defender was behind her when the ball was played. She played she, around. She had Santa to get Clara around Bronco. the defender. Yeah. The far side official not aware of what Elise Flake had to do to get possession of that ball. A defender in front of her had to work her way around the defender to possess it, and the flag comes up, and Elise was in. Cam Tucker on a counter for BYU. Down the barrel, plays wide right Affleck, too wide as we're in the 99th minute. Affleck tracks down, plays across off of a Bronco, deflects to the keep, who dives to the top for six and handles before it could be spilled. So two minutes remaining here in the first overtime session. Santa Clara to the far sideline. Can't keep in. It'll be a BYU throw at the halfway stripe. What would Flake have done with that had the flag stayed down? She was in alone on the keeper. The ball was played by Serracio, and Flake had a player to beat to get to possession of it. Coolahan now splits two defenders. Michaela to 25 yards, knocked away. But to Brockbank, Brockbank resets to Rachel Lyman. Tons of space on the right side. 90 seconds to go in the first overtime. Deep cross, far post catch clean by Ogren. That cross came from Lyman from 40 yards right side. Coming out to about 12 yards to make the catch. Ogren, Ogren. Off the turf, off the head of Jefferson. Lyman, Shepard, Shepard to the top of the 18. Shepard into the 18. Ball knocked away, but to Tucker. Tucker into the area, stops it, restarts with it. Cam still at the right side of the penalty area. Tucker edging into the 18. Trying to get position for a cross. Plays it right of the keeper. Slaps down and catches off the dribble. So 45 seconds remain in the first overtime session. We stay tied at two. BYU the more threatening team here. Can the Cougs make it pay off? Gwynn steps up, but ends up blasting into touch. The Broncos will throw in after substitutions. The clock continues to run here. 30 seconds remain in the first overtime. The Broncos sub in three, out three. And look for fresh legs at the end of the first overtime session. 25 seconds remain in the first OT. We're tied at two. The throw in off the head of Serracio to George. Dispossessed by Coulihan. Coulihan run up on. Bodies collide. Ball loose. Michaela chasing it. Coming away with it is Gonzalez. The win by Michaela. The poke away by George. And that'll do it here for the first overtime. The ball will roll to Danica Serracio with two and one, and we are done in overtime number one. 2-2, two, two, we stay here at Santa Clara. The Broncos and Cougars will play a second overtime. Golden goal remaining in effect. 
If we play 10 scoreless minutes, we will leave here with a draw for both teams. BYU, the only unbeaten, untied team in all of the NCAA Division I, would certainly keep one half of that portion intact with a draw. But looking for the full three and the first ever win in Santa Clara in the Gen Rockwood era, that is the objective. Quick break, back with second overtime next here on the new skin BYU Sports Network.